So I'm currently sat in my van in the Ogwen Valley um, in a car park underneath Trefan. Um, an amazing place, beautiful place, stunning. You've got water, mountains, sky, rocks, everything. Everything you could possibly ask for, for being a, an adventurer, a landscaper, a photographer. But my head is playing games with me again. I feel almost choked up. Um, I feel like welling up and I feel like crying and I don't quite know why. I'm a 50, 53 year old man that's got his own van, got his own camper van that people dream about. I've got my own camera gear. I've got a fantastic wife, a great home, a job, enough money that I don't have to worry about money. Um, well, just about. So what, what is wrong with my head? What makes my head think like this? Why am I sitting here not knowing what to do? Now it is evening time, don't get me wrong, it's half past eight and I've, I've only been here, well I've been here half an hour, three quarters of an hour, I've just been set here texting the wife at home and even texting Steve Stainy Pants because he actually inspires me, he goes to some amazing places, just goes off walking and goes on adventures and I had it in my mind the last couple of days that I needed to get out in the van, I haven't been out for two weeks. Um, I went to Devon a couple of weeks ago, drove all the way down to Devon for a party with the wife and family, um, took mum and dad down. They had a thoroughly great time. It was, a, it was a good drive, the weather was good. You know, we stopped on a farm, it was beautiful, and drove all the way back. So it wasn't really a weekend for me, but it, you know, it was out. But I wasn't in the van, I wasn't having an adventure as such. Last weekend, Denise went to Ireland with the girls from work. She had a great time. She really done a, done a good, I think. And I stayed at home. I'd done lots of editing. I'd done some gear reviews. I just tinkered around, done a bit of cleaning and tidying up at home. And so I haven't been out in the van for two weeks. So I've been looking forward to getting out in the van at work, but I've been struggling to try and work out where to go. There is so many places that I want to go to, but I don't know where they are if that makes sense. I've got places, notes in my phone, I've got screenshots on my phone when I watch other vloggers and other other van life people and stuff like that that go to these different locations. So I've got lots of locations that I've pinned in my phone, but I can never think of them when I need to think of them. And then I always think, well, if I go there, am I gonna miss out somewhere else? So I thought I wanted to knock something off me list. Me and Mrs. C tried to get to the top of one of these walks up to the, the top lock. I think it's lock, it's not a lock, it's a lake, it's a Hlin. Up to Hlin Bochlin, something like that, Bochlin. Um, so I thought I'd come over, do the walk, and you know, get to the top, get to the lake, walk across, come back down through, you know, round Clearnid Wall maybe go up a little bit high again and sort of take some shots tomorrow and just enjoy the walk. But I'm sitting here not knowing whether I want to go on my own. I'm staring out. I'm watching the clouds come over the top of the hills. It's a lovely evening. I should be out doing something now. There's nothing stopping me except for this, except for whatever's ticking in there. There's nothing else stopping me. I'm here. I've got all my gear with me. I've got plenty of supplies, but I'm just sat in my van. What is this all about? Why, why do I get like this? Why do I feel like this? Am I the only one? Do you feel like this? Do me, does me talking about this help? I'm going to put this video out. I'm going to pop it out. I'll, I'll just put it together tomorrow or whatever, and I'll just put it out maybe Sunday sometime. So you're probably watching it and thinking, what the hell is he going on about? I've got a few subscribers. I've got 10,000 subscribers now, but that doesn't even compute that I'm worthy of that. I don't feel that I get the feedback. I've not got the following. 
the numbers mean nothing without the comments, without the the likes, the sharing, the you know, the numbers mean nothing without all those other things. Now I've got regular people that comment on my videos, and I am so so grateful for some of them. The one that pops in my mind, part two, Vincent. Vincent has been commenting from day one, and so has um, Ian. I think it's Ian or Leon from Scotland. I think it is. They're just two people that stick in my mind. Many others as well. I know there's others that, that comment all the time. But then I get a couple of people that comment and say, why are you down with everything you've got? I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. I always want what others have got. I always look at my photography and think, is that it? You know... And it shouldn't make any difference. I'm I'm doing it for fun. I don't make any money out of my photography. Uh, I do a few workshops. And I thoroughly enjoy the workshops. I wish I could do more. I would really love to do more workshops. But I just don't know how to sell myself. I don't know how to do it. I've got a website. Very rarely people ever go on it. Prints. I'd like to do prints. But it just seems like hard work. I wouldn't even know where to start on setting up a business for prints. I've got prints on my website that are there ready to be sold, but I don't sell any. I've got friends that I go out vlogging with. Um, they sell more prints than me, and I've been doing photography forever and ever and ever. I've won awards and competitions in the camera clubs and stuff, but I wouldn't know how to sell a print. Not saying I haven't sold, I've sold one or two in my time. But yeah, why why do I feel like this? Why do I feel choked? Why do I feel like blobbing my eyes out when I'm sitting in such a really nice place? I don't like being alone. Mrs. C doesn't enjoy the van the same as I do. Um, she don't mind an adventure, a day out and stuff like that, but she has a week at work, stressful week at work with annoying children in the you know at school. And then she comes home and she has to look after me. She doesn't have to, but she chooses to. And uh, I'm ever so grateful for it all, but it means she's tired and she just wants to do her own thing at weekends and catch up with a bit of housework and homework or just a, some sleep, really, because I snore. So, yeah, she doesn't always come out in the van. Um, I haven't been out with friends for a while either and, and that helps when I'm out with other people I kind of take my mind off of my own thoughts because I'm out with them so we're sort of talking bollocks for want of a better word sorry for me French but we are we're talking rubbish we just yeah we just talk crap or we're encouraging and inspiring each other to go somewhere or do something or climb a bit higher or you know, bouncing ideas of what to do. When I'm on my own, I don't have that. I have my own little thoughts going on with my own little head. And I just don't get them. I really don't get them. You know, when you see these cartoon characters and you've got someone sitting on his shoulder. Yabba, 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 yabba. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it's like. I've got this little one going off this side. I've got this little one going off this side. And... I'm stuck in the middle and I'm like, I, just, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. I don't know. Anyway, 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 anyway. It's a nice evening, the sun's going down. I think because I'm not in a private car park, you know, I'm not on my own, there's, there's vans parked in the car park over there. I don't feel like I can just get out and wander around, which is stupid because Chances are, if I get out and have a wander over there, someone might say something and we might be ending up talking this evening. But, I just feel claustrophobic. No, I don't. Yeah, I do. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Maybe because there's other people around. I think that's the word. Don't you feel enclosed? <sighs> I'm going to... I am going to make another video tomorrow morning. I am going to park here tonight, then in the morning I'm going to get up early and I'm going to drive down to the other car park because there's now no camping, no overnight, so I can't park down there. I'm going to get up in the morning, drive out of this car park, go down the road 500 yards, maybe half a mile, 
I'm gonna park in the car park down there, get my camera rag out and head up the hill. And I'm gonna go for a walk. I'm gonna make myself do it and I'm probably gonna enjoy it. I hope it's not sunny. I hope it's, I even, it could even be raining. I'd actually enjoy a walk in the rain with it pattering on my head. I'm gonna put my earplugs in, my earphones. I've talked about these in the past. I've got some um, earphones that I'm going to put in my ears. I'm gonna put some music on and I'm just gonna go for a walk and I'm gonna see where I end up. I'm not gonna do anything stupid because I'm on my own. And again, I don't like doing risky stuff when I'm on my own, but that's what I'm gonna to do tomorrow. So if you're still listening to this, thank you. Thank you for just listening to me. It's almost helped me talking. Yeah, it's almost helped me talking, which is strange, isn't it? I'm talking to a camera, but I'm really talking to you. You know, all you people out there that, that do watch me and enjoy what's coming next or is intrigued on what's coming next and like the adventures, like the places I go. Um, I know there's more of you that enjoy the places than the photography. Um, most of you know how to use a camera, so. But yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do that in the morning. Thanks for watching. Hey, like and subscribe. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> um, yeah, see you next time. Or I'll see you another time. It won't be next time, but I'll see you another time. And uh, you'll know when it is. I'll be the one panting, walking up the hill. Bye.